Hello everyone and welcome to Events by Epi. For those that are joining us for the first time and those that do not know me, my name is Adiola Umo. I am the creative director of Events by Epi. And if you want to know a little bit more about Events by Epi, please check the link in the description box below. Today's video is going to be part of our how-to series and we're going to be learning how to put together a floral centerpiece today. For the things that we're going to need for this centerpiece, we have silk flowers here. Now you can use any kind of flowers including fresh flowers, but today I will be using silk flowers. So I have a hot pink delphinium here, I have some hydrangeas, and I got these hydrangeas from Michael and they so lovely, I, like I really love the feel. And I have some greenery here. I'm gonna be using glue gun. If you have flowers that have stems, you do not need glue gun for this. But I'm using um, hydrangea heads for this centerpiece, so that's why I'm, I'll be using my glue gun. For the container, I am using this shoe vase. It's a sparkle shoe vase. I love it. Now, you can use any kind of container for this. I am using this shoe vase. It has a very small opening so that I'm not using a lot of flowers for this centerpiece. I have my little styrofoam that I'm going to be putting right in. I think this is just a good height for me. It's sturdy and then we're ready to go. First, I prep my flowers. Some of them, if they have leaves, cut out those leaves, okay? Cut it out. Now, don't throw it away. In my next video, I'll probably be showing you what you can use these leaves for. So, for today, I'm saving them. So, that first delphinium, I'm putting it right in the center of my centerpiece. For this centerpiece, we want to make sure that there is a balance, right? So we're just gonna go clockwise and put in the flowers. To help my work get easier, I'm using a lazy Susan, okay? So that it's easy to just move it around. Look at that, cool. All right. I love these flowers because it has that natural bounce to it that makes it very, very light. Put it a little more in the center. Again, just watching my balance. Again, I'm putting it here, angling it at this side because I want to see the flowers. I don't want it looking like this. At the end of the day, I want it to bend outwards. All right, how is it looking guys? So I feel like there's a little bit more on this side. I want to put it a little bit more on this side just to balance it out a little bit more. That's good. All right, I'm going to stop here for today, but now the periphery. That's where my hydrangeas come in. I have two different types of hydrangeas. But I'm thinking to use this particular one. It has that little tinge of pink. So if I get it a little closer, you can see. So that's why I'm gonna go with this one, okay? Just to go with the theme that we're, that we're doing here. So, my glue gun, put a lot of glue on there. Be very careful. I kept mine on low temp, just because of the styrofoam. I don't want it melting. And then fold. Fold towards the end. You're covering that styrofoam. Make sure it's secure. Give it some time and then keep going. So tell me, what other flowers you would use in a vase like this? It's a very unique vase. There's probably some flowers that may not look as nice in it. Let me know if you try something else. I love this Hydrogia Delphinium centerpiece. It's beautiful. If you feel like you'd rather have greenery, you can do that also. Just add greenery to the periphery. So what do you guys think of this um, interpretation of my shoe vase? Um, try it out and let me know. All 
right guys that's it for today don't forget to like this video comment and also if you feel this was helpful please share this video and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel also in our next video i'll be showing you what we can do with these leaves that we cut out of the delphinium all right till next time take care